and the needs go beyond money. Uh, we need volunteers. A lot of ministries that are growing, such as ours, uh, they operate on volunteers. Our volunteer uh, base is very slim to none. If somebody just wants to help that doesn't have a, a set skill, we have so many other things that they can do. Coming to Pivot Ministries and experiencing God is, is when healing begins to take place in your soul. And during this journey, we trade the sorrows that come from the sin system to the beauty and wonder of God and wholeness. I'm trading my sorrows. Sing it with me if you know it. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading in my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of Reverend Faith Todeshek of United Covenant Church in Wilton is a volunteer instructor for Pivot. What I was delighted to see is they are really encouraged them to become seekers of wisdom. They're not just receivers of wisdom, but they're, they're in, being invited to be seekers of wisdom for themselves and to own what they learn um, and, and you know, listen to God for themselves and be able to apply the wisdom from the scripture for their own lives rather than just have somebody tell them what to do. Anyone else? How are you noticing God? in your life, in your journey, in the Word, in the community. I feel Him, His presence um, in my life, and that's never happened in my life before since yeah. I've been here. I learned self-control. Self-control? Uh, I used to be, I don't want to say crazy, but out of control. Yeah. Students do progress, yet the fact remains. I see more need. I mean, they, they run that thing on a shoestring. And like the students don't have, um, don't have books. They have they have like manuals and they have um, they have um, project guides, but they can't write in their project guides. They have to write on a piece of paper, which re means that the exercise doing your homework is going to take twice as long because you have to write out the questions and write out the answers. There's a core of five to ten churches that support Pivot tremendously. The goal is for this number to grow. We need a church support with prayer. We need church support with volunteerism. We need pastors to come out to show these men. Because what happens is once these men graduate here, they'll be going back into the local churches. We need pastors to come out and show that they care. Bishop-elect Derek Calhoun and New Vision International Ministries in Bridgeport have been committed to contributing time and money to Pivot for the past 10 years. For a ministry to focus on putting the fathers back in the home, the men back in the rightful position, and help them to gain access to their destiny, I thought it was no better choice but to sow into the, uh, the ministry, uh, pivot ministry, to be a part of pivot ministry. Uh, since then, many of the men that have come through pivot have become members of this church, and they're viable members. So not only do I uh, have an external uh, basis for sowing into people, but I have an internal basis. I understand that these guys have really changed. And they are committed to doing their part to support this life-saving ministry. They produce and sell Pivot Choir CDs, they hold yard sales, they make their own property improvements, and once the greenhouse is ready, they'll grow and sell seasonal plants. You have an opportunity to change someone's life. You have an opportunity to make a difference. People will sow into uh, Cats Foundation, save the cats, save the whale, save the dogs, save a library. But my point is, why don't we start saving people? Why don't we start saving someone who can help save someone else? It brings much greater value to your dollar when uh, one person can help another person who can help another person. There's a, a system of uh, multiplication that comes uh, to process when you actually sow into the lives of people. Because individuals, organizations, and churches have sown into people through Pivot Ministries, lives and families have been restored and forever changed. To see him interact with his family, to see the smiles on Elias Sr. and his sisters and how their family came together because it was shattered because of his addiction. But I think just getting into this program that they put him back on the right path so now he's back to Elias. <laughs> and now to see them 
You know, I got goosebumps right now. I got to tell you, it, it, it's just uh, incredible. I, uh, I thank God. Your support today will help Pivot Ministries now and in the future. You can help save a life. We need all the help we can get. There's always room for improvement. There's always another guy coming in that needs clothes or, or needs, you know, um, you know, toothbrush or soap and, and things. So um, it's important that we have people behind us to help to keep the doors open because without these doors open, you know, there's just more and more lives just um, being wasted. This is a way to get connected to something that's positive. You know, you can be, you can read about the problems all the time or you can be part of the solution. For me, being part of Pivot, I can be part of the solution. I don't have to just sit and watch the problem. There are very few organizations that really deal with the homeless, that really deal with the drug addicts, that really deal with the alcoholics. And this is one of the few that deal with them, and not only deal with them, but deal with them extremely effectively and have a terrific track record. We have people who would give a $50 donation or people who would give many, many thousand dollars in a, in a donation. So no typical donor except, you know, they have some typical characteristics. They all love Pivot once they really understand the story and get to see the uh, program in action. Definitely have to support it. We spend so much money on nuisance stuff. We can use money to, to help support our, our community, our, our family, our children, friends, neighbors. I mean, you never know when it's going to happen to you. And you want the program to still be there. Pivot was birthed in the Lord Jesus Christ. And our foundation is still strong in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I would say to anybody out there that this is a worthwhile investment of your dollar. Do not forget the least of these.